Now, in the previous lectures, we understand a lot about strings. We understand how we can create a string, how we can concatenate it, and we understand how we can use string in Python. Now, let's take a look at how string formatting works in Python. Formatting values as string is such an important operation. String formatting allows you to add variables values in the standard string. Now, let's take a look at a very simple example to understand how string formatting works. So, for example, let's say you have a variable name and you specify string value to it. And then I'm going to just add print statement here. And now you want to print this variable in this print statement. I'm going to just simply add here plus operator just like this to concatenate this name with this string. When I execute the statement, I'm going to have the result something like this. But using string formatting, you can do the same thing very easily. Let me show you. I'm going to just get rid of this variable. And right here, I'm going to add curly braces. So I'm going to add here opening and closing curly braces. And just out of the string, I'm going to add a simple string formatting method. This method is very useful to format your string. So using this method, you can format your string very easily. So here, what I want, I want to print this variable value. So in this curly braces, I want to print this name. So I'm going to pass this name as a parameter to this format method. I'm going to say here name. When I try to print this statement, I'm going to have the result something like this. I'm going to have the name value in this curly braces. Now let's take a look at one more example to understand how this curly braces work. So let's say you have three variables. So I'm not going to create three variables instead of creating a variable. So here I'm going to create a variable py and then I'm going to specify here string to it. So in this string, I want to print three variables. So I'm going to first specify curly braces to print my first variable, then specify here comma, print my second variable using curly braces, specify comma and print my third variable here. This comma is optional. Now what I want, I want to print my variable values inside these curly braces. So I'm going to just specify here dot, call the format method and here I'm going to specify values to these curly braces. So I'm going to just first pass here value to this first curly braces. So I'm going to say here 1, then specify value to the second curly braces, 2, and then specify value to the third curly braces, 3. Now just after that, I'm going to just print this py variable. So I'm going to say here print py. When I execute the statement, you can notice I have 1, 2, 3. If you want, you can remove this comma from this string as well. Now this first parameter value is going to specify to this first curly braces. This second parameter value is going to specify to the second curly braces. And this third parameter value is going to specify to this third curly braces. If you want, you can specify parameter index number as well to this curly braces. This is your index number 0. So when you specify here 0, this will just get the value of your first parameter. Then I'm going to specify here 1 to get the value of the second parameter and then I'm going to specify here 2 to get the value of this third parameter. When I execute the statement, I'm going to have the same result here. Now what I want, I want to change the format of the string. I want to first print 3, then print 1 and then I want to print 2 here. So in that case, I need to change the parameter as well. Instead of changing the parameter, you can change these values. Let's say you want to print the third parameter value first, you can specify here 2. Then if you want to print this first parameter value, here you can specify here 0 and then if you want to print this second parameter value right here you can specify here 1. When you print the statement you can notice I'm going to get the result what I want. So using this index number I'm going to get any parameter value very easily. You can notice we are accessing the format value using index. If I change the index value I will get the different result. Now you are not limited to specify this index to these values. You can even specify the variable name as well. Let's say if I just have a variable here, 2, and I'm going to specify string to it. So here, I'm going to just call a string, just like this. And then I'm going to just specify variable name in this curly braces. So what I want, I want to get the value from the variable and then print it here in this curly braces. So I'm going to specify a variable name in this curly braces. So when I want to specify a value here, I can specify it using this price variable name. So here, I'm going to just specify dot format. And then I'm going to specify value to this price variable. So I'm going to say here price and then specify value to it. Just like this. When I print this statement, you can notice I'm going to have the result what I want. That's super easy, right? So you're not limited to only use index or empty curly braces. You can use name of the variable as well. You can specify any name to this variable. That doesn't matter. But keep in mind, when you specify value to this variable, you need to specify the exact name in this parameter. Now, just out of that, what I want, I want to get the decimal value 
of this number. So if the user specify integer value to the string, I want to get a result in the decibel value. If the user specify 50, I want to get the result just like this. Using string formatting, we can easily do that. Let me show you how. I'm going to just get rid of these dots from here and to this price variable. Right here, I'm going to specify colon and then specify dot to m. So it means I want to specify two decimal after this price value. So to get the float format three decimal number, I'm using colon and then I'm going to specify a format specified dot to f. So when I execute the statement, you're going to get the different result. So you're going to get dot zero zero after this integer variable. Now, what if you want to get the literal braces in the final result? You can specify those by using double braces in the formatting string as well. For example, now let's say you have a variable foo and to this variable, you're going to specify a simple string. But in this string, you want to print a literal braces. So I'm going to specify here double curly braces just like this. So I'm going to add here double opening curly braces and double closing curly braces. And then I'm going to specify here dot and then call a method format. So when I try to print this foo variable, you can notice here I have the curly braces in my string as well. Now what if you specify unnamed arguments to the formatted string? For example, let's say you have a variable boo and in this string, you can notice you have some unnamed argument. You have here named, this is your unnamed argument, this is your for variable name, and this is your unnamed unnamed argument. So how we can deal with this using format method? Let me just show you how you can do that. Now to deal with the string, you can just simply call a format method just like this. Then I'm gonna specify the value to this empty argument first, to these empty arguments. So I'm gonna specify here one and two. So I'm gonna specify empty arguments value first. And then I'm going to specify value to this named argument. So I'm going to just specify here one is equal to one. And then I'm going to specify four is equal to four. So when I print this variable, I'm going to have the result what I want. So these fields and arguments are then pair off in order to specify. So this one is going to specify to this empty curly braces. This two is specified to this empty curly braces. This one variable value specified to this name argument and these four variable values specified to this named for argument. Now in this example, we understand how we can convert this integer value in the decibel floating number. Now let's take a look at how string conversion works in string formatting. String conversion helps you to convert string into different formats. So let's say you want to format an integer value in float. You can simply specify here f. As you can notice here, we converted this string value into float value and we specify two decimal to it. Now this is what we call a format specifier. There are many more format specifier you can use in Python. For example, let's say you want to convert this number in binary literal. You can use b here instead of using this floating value. When I specify here b just like this, I'm going to have the binary value here. You can notice and if you want to convert this number to decimal, you can use f here. As you know, we can use f here to convert these to decibel numbers. And if you want to print only two decibels after this integer, you can specify here dot two, just like this. So you're not limited to only print a string values using string formatting. You can even convert it using string specifier. Now in this lecture, we just took only important flags. There are many string modifier flags are available in Python. You can find all the flags in the Python website. For an exercise, find and use different modifier flags and format your string.